Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to Malik Jio 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. So, uh, you know, if you see, if you go to my, uh, you know, uh, Malik Jio 34 blogspot.com, I uh, just now published, uh, you know, April 2021 patch release. Uh, as we all aware that Oracle will quarterly releases the patches. And, you know, uh, April 2021 patches are already out. And, uh, you know, I just uh, written some information about April 2021 patches. And also I give on a detail uh, uh, the patch information also give on the steps for uh, how to apply the patches. So, you know, I request everyone to go to Malik Jyotri for Blogspot and uh, the latest update would be on the April 2021 patch release. So what do you need to do? You just, uh, you know, the first step is uh, the patch information and uh, the download step. You need to log into Oracle support and, uh, you know, search for April 2021 patch availability document. That is a pad. And you will see something like this uh, critical patch update CPU program, April 2021 patch availability document. And this is a, a MOS doc ID. And typically, this is a screenshot. And uh, directly in that document, you directly go into the section three, that is the patch availability for Oracle product. And you will see uh, various Oracle products, like Oracle, starting with Oracle database, Enterprise Manager, Fusion Middleware, and Sun Middleware and tools. So what we are interested, uh, we're interested in 3.1, that's Oracle database, and go inside that, and you will see the patch information for 19C, 18C, and 12.2, and 12.1. And you don't see 11.204, because 11.204 support is uh, ended by Oracle, and you don't see any more patches released for 11G uh, databases. And you'll see typically these uh, four sections. Uh, and also I listed out here and also given the URL, if you click open this new link, it will go to the patch download link. So you can directly use this link for downloading the patch. So for 19C, this is the patch number for GI and this is a patch number for uh, DB and this patch number for OJVM. And this is a combo of uh, database patch plus OJVM. And similarly for 18C, the GI, DB, OJVM and uh, combo patch. Uh, similarly for 12.2 and 12.1, these are the patches. And if you go down, also I given the uh, steps to apply the patches, uh, you know, uh, directly apply the patches on the DBM. I given it uh, considering a standalone database. And once you apply the patch, uh, you know, how to uh, uh, do a database post patching steps. And then I'm just, uh, you know, writing uh, uh, steps for uh, 18C and 12C. I will be up updating this blog very soon. You just, uh, you know, uh, keep watching uh, on, on this particular, uh, uh, you know, blog. Uh, we will get uh, 18C as well as uh, 18C and uh, 12C uh, patching steps. And uh, quickly, if I want to show you in my uh, MOS logon, like I just searched critical patch update program PAD. And I got this April 2021 patch availability document. So if I open that one, so this is a document typically looks like a uh, critical patch update. Uh, just you can bookmark this one, uh, April 2021 patch availability document. And what I said, like directly, I will jump into section three in this. And the section section two is what is new in that. You can go through that everything, but uh, you know, typically what we interested DBS are uh, the patch availability for Oracle products. And inside that, uh, the database product is our major focus area. Go to 3.1 section. Uh, that's the 3.1 section is here. Uh, Oracle database, Oracle databases, you can see. Uh, Oracle database 18C, Oracle database 19C, Oracle database 12.2 and 12.1. Uh, you don't see 11G database anymore because there is no more patches for 11G databases. And if I go to the 19C databases, typically these are the patches I listed out. Uh, you can see a number of patches here, but uh, I filtered out what all uh, needed here, uh, especially for Linux I'm talking about. There's a different patch numbers for the Windows machine and the Solarize, you can take a look on that. So this is how the patch number it is. So GI patch is this one. And, the, and this is for Linux and this is for Windows and OJVM patch is this one, and the database patch is this one. So everything I listed there in a sequential order, you can follow that. And just to give an example for 19C, I, 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 down, I downloaded this particular uh, patch here. I can, I search this patch here, ending with 5008. You can see 5008, that's a GI patch, and this is a patch. I opened the readme of that patch, so readme is, looks like this. This is a patch, 5008. And this is a GI patch, you can see 19.11. So 
so if you go down that patch contains these uh, five sub patches and these are the sub patch numbers you can see here and this particular patch you can see uh, only db home for non oracle and for the rack setup it should be both grid and uh, db home so this patch should be applied on db home as well as the grid home and if it's a standalone you apply only on the db home and this patch if you see here applied both on gi and db home and this patch only on grid home and this patch and this patch are only on the grid home in case of rack and if you see what are the description of this all five patches this one is uh, database release update and ocw acfs or uh, dbwlm and tomcat these are the uh, typical five patches contains in that and make sure uh, before applying the patch one of the best recommendation is always download the latest o patch that is 600 or 6 and linux x86 if you can search it and you can uh, download it for uh, whatever the the release you are going for so if i can quickly show you here cd u01 patches i already downloaded here and this is my OJVM patch and this is my uh, 5 that's the GI patch. So if I go inside GI patch and if I do LS, this is a patch I already unzipped. And if I go inside that patch, you can see typically those five sub patches, one, two, three, four, and five. So yeah, this is all about the, uh, the, the, uh, 11 to uh, sorry uh, the april 2021 patch release and uh, uh, these are patches for 19c and 18c and 21c and 12c and these are the typically patch apply steps for uh, 19c so very quickly i am uh, updating this document uh, for 18c and 19c steps so you can do a practice so in my uh, next session i am going to apply this 19c patches on my uh, one of uh, uh, database that is uh, MEDB 19C and this is a 12C. So I have 19C and 12C database. So I'm going to apply that latest patch on both the databases and then I can uh, share more details on that. Uh, thank you guys.